How's it going, everyone? Badger here, and welcome to the growing Badger Army. You are all appreciated, loved, and welcomed. Please, if you have any topics, if anything at all, anything on your mind, leave them in the comments. See if I can get to them. Starting out today, we got uh, Kylo Ren. Everyone loves Kylo Ren, right? It's your favorite character from the sequel trilogy. He actually, uh, unironically, is, if I had to choose, probably the best thing that came out of that sequel trilogy, because Adam Driver, yeah, he's a good actor. Uh, again, I am not a fan of the sequel trilogy. They did so many things wrong, and we can go over that. If you like it, this is not a personal attack against you. We love all of our fans here, even the ones that don't like uh, me, still like you. Watch, like, and listen. Uh, he, Adam Driver, that is, is on the Rich Eisen show. He's talking about Kylo Ren and that originally Kylo was very different. So we'll let him say this, and we'll pause and go through it. Good. <laughs> was it an immediate yes when you were offered for Kylo Ren? No, 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 no. No, I wanted to think about it. It was when we were shooting girls, okay. and I was a. F and I'm assuming, forget just the character, but the, the hype was real back in the day. If you go back to before, I mean, right now, Star Wars is an all time low. Apathy is 100% set in. But right when it was announced that Disney had bought at the height of Marvel movies before they had been ruined, where they were still paying attention to source material, and it was announced that Disney was going to buy Star Wars, we were all happy. We're like, oh my God, yes. Now they're going to make more Star Wars. They're going to follow the expanded universe, all these great books and games and comics that all relatively had a flowing timeline. Luke and Mara Jade and his new Jedi Order and his son, Ben Skywalker, and Han and Leia and their kids, Jason and Jaina, the Jaina and Jason twins, the solo twins, and their son, Anakin. Oh, it's going to be so great. We're going to see it. Well, we know how that turned out. But here, at the beginning, when everything was bright, Here's Adam Driver saying, oh, no, no, I didn't immediately sign on. I had to think about it. Because one, you're going to immediately be associated with Star Wars now forever. Two, character's everything, right? So who was he going to play originally? Fan of the, I was a fan of Star Wars, and I didn't off, want it to right? be bad. Okay. And, and there was no script to read. That was, that was part of the gig. You, you, you could get the part, but then you know, uh, after you agreed to do everything, then they put you in a tiny room and, and allowed you to read the script for the first time. What do you mean? What and that's actually pretty standard on a lot of uh, movies, uh, especially the more secretive ones where you either have to go to them, go in a room, or they have a guy, you know, in an armored car and an armored suitcase handcuffed to his hand, you go in, you read it while the guy waits for you and he takes it and he goes back. What are you talking about? Like, like it's top secret is what yeah. you're saying? Oh yeah. 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 JJ walked me through what he wanted to do with the character, but you had to sign up and be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. So then once you, once I did that, you know, we, I went to London to start for pre-production. There was like, there was a tiny room down the hall. You can go in there and read the script. And uh, so I was reading it for the first time. And then you had to leave it there. Yeah. Then you had to leave it there. Yeah. That was the first one. It's like top secret. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was massive. Massively. So we had special, uh, stuff and everything but did you know <laughs> did you know that at least you're 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 playing vader 2.0 like at least did you know that as yeah. conceptually i did yeah in? yeah and i had an overall arc that in mind that he wanted to do which you know then changed i mean even implying that they had overall arc designs and writing is impressive which <laughs> The more you hear about this whole thing, the, and you go, how the hell did they make three movies and they didn't have a plan? Well, it sounds like they sort of did. It just wasn't locked in stone. And then Rian Johnson, roundhead Rian Johnson came in. He fucked up everything. He just ruined everything. He threw the biggest stone into a pond and it was just catch up after that. But it seems like had he just come in and just immediately picked up with all the story notes that JJ, instead of saying, fuck JJ, I want to subvert everyone's expectations doing what he did. If he had just picked up, it might have been a lot more cohesive, less offensive. But his idea was that almost the opposite journey of Vader, where Vader starts the most confident, the most, uh, you know, committed to the dark side. And by, you know, the, um, the last movie, he's, he's the most vulnerable and weak. And he yes. wanted to start at the opposite, where this character was the most confused and vulnerable and by the end of the the three movies would be most committed to the dark sides and while i like that story arc i think it misses a key point in star wars which which is that with the exception of the emperor with the exception of sheev palpatine which uh, they, uh lucas has gone on to say that like you know the palpatine he's the devil basically there's no redemption for he is pure 100 percent evil incarnate Everyone else, and it's certainly anyone in the Skywalker bloodline, there there is an inner core of goodness to them that will always, and of course, they ended up doing that redemption arc, and redemption is a whole 
thing in in actual Star Wars first six uh, in the expanded universe. But um, that would have been interesting to to have him get just darker and darker and not be redeemed, but not for who they had him play. So the, I tried to keep that arc in mind, regardless if that wound up not being the journey anyway because, <sighs> because it changed obviously yeah, as we well, were shooting yeah, yeah, yeah right right but i was still kind of focused on that when did it change uh, uh well with with ryan he took it into a different direction and by the way I, this is a master class of uh explaining what happened without you know putting blame or anything because i think most people are like well ryan came in and fucked up every single story thread that jj set up he just well he took it in a different direction this is very similar to when we heard henry cavill talking about the differences in scope and you know how he has to it's, oh he's very diplomatic very polite in how he phrases it but still okay. it kind of still tracked with the character than the last one that it, it, it changed okay and yeah. into being you know uh, about them and the dyad and and things like that and then again so and that dyad uh, but and to be clear force bonds were already a thing but just like force healing was already a thing but they were contextually different you know force bonds were between master and padawan they developed over time force bonds were created maybe in moments of great you know with revan and bastila when she saved his life part of him it, just having him go like oh yeah the emperor did that how did the emperor do that ah that's a good story for another time we're gonna talk about that but the emperor did it you, you and and kind of evolving into ben ben solo where right. that, where that was never part of and there should that's the thing there should just never have been a ben solo they took Jason and they took they took Jason Solo and Ben Skywalker and they fused them together into something that was not greater than the sum of their parts. Ben Skywalker, son of Luke and Mara Jade, which boy, they always talk about how they wanted strong females. You you could all you had to do is introduce Mara. <laughs> it could have been you you could have even been like one of the main focuses and had Luke there, you know, as the second lead. And it still would have jived. People would have loved her part of it that wasn't either no 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 because well ben solo he was ben solo from the beginning right. but it wasn't it was never a version where we actually see ben solo when when i first signed up for it well i mean again so you're a star wars guy just like you know most everyone in the human race right? yes yeah, yeah so what was it like for you adam driver when harrison ford's on the set and you know you're about to do what you're about to do to Han Solo. And it's yeah. by the way, everyone, I know Chris Gore, forgive me for that. They all say that this was the moment that lost them is when Han Solo, that was, I knew Han was going to die. Harrison Ford had gone on record for years since in Return of the Jedi saying that he wanted Han to die. He didn't want, uh, he didn't want Han to survive. He was, uh, at the time he was going to be on the Millennium Falcon when it was escaping the Death Star after blowing it up. And he wanted him to blow up. And that was going to happen until someone goes, you can't kill Han Solo. And so we knew that, that, that uh harrison ford the only reason he came back is because they were going to kill him off finally so he wouldn't be fucking asked to do anybody and ironically he still did more star wars after that but so it wasn't it was that they made him a deadbeat dad that they regressed decades of character development that he went right back to being a fucking loser that was strange from his wife and it was you know a smuggler again it was like he was a general he had moved past all that he had found friends and family and belief yeah could he still be a piece of shit sometimes? Yes, but he wasn't a bad dad. Like, oh my God, just every character's done so much better in the expanded universe. What was that? The real expanded universe, not what they call legends. That like for you? Um, a lot of the first movie was denial. The, uh, I mean, those movies are action adventure, sure. th but in between takes, they're pure comedy. You know, it, it's uh, stormtroopers trying to sit down. You know, <laughs> it's like... Uh, people trying to look uh, move around and, and running into walls because they're wearing masks and you know it's like <laughs> chewy like trying to eat uh, you know yogurt and lift up his uh so i tried to like block out all of that right uh, but you know what i will say props to uh jj and them for doing more practice they, they got a lot of it right in that the return to more practical effects and uh the puppetries that was all fine you just have to have substance with it right. but then there's so much star wars iconography and harrison ford that you want to try to stay focused but from what i remember that day was mostly about harrison harrison was like you know it was, it's seemingly from the outside was an emotional thing it was a yeah. thing it was you know him and his son and me and our father and all that stuff was coming out in the scene and i remember we were on this big catwalk that mm -hmm. we were shooting it and we're just him and i and we're talking and he was like looking around and he goes you know look what we get to do yeah, 
and that's that's fine. I'm glad that he was able to rationalize it <laughs> into a positive experience. I can't. I can't. I still can't watch. I've tried. I've tried. I, I it's really it's hard. I, now you watch any of the Star Wars that are pre the sequel trilogies. Like even go back and watch Return of the Jedi when he redeems his father and then it blows up and everybody's celebrating. You go, well, it doesn't matter. Emperor's still alive. It all leads to Palpatine. It all leads to Ray Skywalker. Luke talking. Oh, he's going to rebuild the Jedi. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's going to fail. That's going to fail. He's going to lose all his students. But hey, Ray Palpatine will rebuild the Jedi for him. You ready for that movie? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know. You still messing around with Star Wars? Did you go back? Did you do what I did? You just decided to ignore all of Disney Star Wars with the exception of some Clone Wars, which is really just a carryover. But other than that, you're done. You're going back to old school things like Knights of the Old Republic, Jedi Outcast, Battlefront, you know, Cal Kestis. Okay, I'll give him that. The gaming, uh, Cal Kestis, great character. All right, let me know in the comments, guys. See you soon.